Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Ryan. I'm also known as RM2K Dev. Today, we're going to be designing and building the world's first Switch emulator. Now, I'm going to be doing this in Game Maker Studio 2.0. Um, as I want to demonstrate the absolute raw power that this engine is capable of. We'll be aiming for a true 60F emulation here, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is bring in some assets. Now, obviously, we're going to need that iconic switch sound. Now, I've actually got one of those as resources right here. I'm going to name it, click, and bring that into our, uh, into our IDE. So as you can see, I've got that under the sounds folder here for click. We're also going to need a couple of objects to achieve this. The first object that I'm going to create, I'll be naming that uh, OBJ Emulator. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll just name this Emulator. Emulator, there we go. Um, that's going to be the first object we need. We're also going to need another object called Switch. And essentially, Emulator is just going to be used to store all of the variables that we need for emulating a switch and switch is going to contain all of the user interface functionality that we then need to go about that process so with those two objects created let's go ahead and create a room we've already got a room actually it's been created for us um, and i will add that game maker studio 2 is quite new and i'm i'm not 100 percent familiar with it so you know i'd like you to take that into consideration when watching this video but i will do my best to edit this into a cohesive uh, video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to viewports and cameras. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to change the width and height of this to 720, actually, no, 1280 by 720. That seems like the appropriate resolution for the tablet side of things that this switch will be running on, of course. Um, we're also going to set the background color if I can remember how you do that now. You click on background and then you go down to this color. I'm just gonna choose a nice sort of light gray color that uh, is appealing to the eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We're also gonna name this room. We need to change the name because the name room zero is not acceptable. I'm just gonna name this RM underscore emulator. Uh, the next thing I'll do is I'll just hit play. Just make sure that everything's working. Make sure that it's running. We can actually see the room. Make sure everything's good. So as you can see, we have a 1280 by 720 uh, room running under Game Maker Studio 2. We have our object set up correctly. We have the switch sound, which... Am I able to play it from the interface? There we go. A fantastic sound, that is. I love it. Um, so we have the sound there. We have the room. We have our emulator object and our switch object. The next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to add a create event to our emulator object. And in here, I'm just going to say uh, state equals false. And this is going to determine the state of our switch. The next thing we do is I'll just save that so that we have the object there. Next thing I'm going to do is head over to our switch object. And I'm going to add a create object to this as well. Uh, and inside of that, we're just going to say emulator dot state equals false there we go we're just going to re sort of reset that now jumping back into our room we can go ahead and drag the emulator object into the room oh we can't drag it onto a background obviously we need to drag it onto a layer sorry an instance layer so i'll just drag that object in here and as you can see that is now oh oh oh, oh there we go in the top corner beautiful um next thing we need to do is bring in some assets now these assets I, w I don't want you to be alarmed they are going to be extremely high resolution and extremely high quality some computers may struggle to run this emulator at 60 fps but just, just remember that this is the beginning it's the beginning of emulation it, it takes a little while for it to get there so i'm going to bring these in as sprites and i'm just going to drag them over here onto the sprites tab and that should create us two sprites now we have the sprite for switch off, and we also have the sprite for switch on. <laughs> and I'm going to call these SPR off. And <laughs> I'm having a hard time containing myself here. Um, I'm going to call this one here SPR on. There we go. So now we have the sprite for off and the sprite for on. Let's jump back to our switch object. We're going to set it to off because that is the default state, as we know. And we're going to jump back to the room. And let's drag this switch in. Oh my gosh, that is a big switch we might need to zoom out and scale that actually uh so let's scale that right down 
Oops. Oops. There we go. Oh, 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 that's not good. Undo, undo, undo all the things. Edit image. And we will say resize all frames. And we'll change that down to 300. Maintaining the aspect ratio and apply. There we go. So now that that's done, we can go back to our emulator room, bring our switch object in like this, and let's just center that on the screen. I think that's looking about centered right there. Looks central to me. Um, and we can go ahead and get started on some of the code. Now, obviously, the most important function for a switch is that once it's clicked on, it creates that beautiful click sound that Nintendo has been creating. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a on mouse uh, left released, which is going to be a no. We'll do we'll do left pressed for a more instantaneous effect. Um, on left press, we need to tell the emulator core. So we're just going to say emulator dot state equals. And this time, what we're going to do is so emulator dot state whatever it was, and we'll just put the not symbol in front of it. So if it was false it becomes true, and if it was true, it becomes false. Then based on the state of the emulator, we're going to change the switch image to the correct image. So to do that, all we're going to say is if emulator.state equals true, so if the switch is currently on, then we need to say image index, no, sorry, sprite index, sprite index equals, and we're going to say spr underscore on. That's going to set our switch image to on. Otherwise, we need to set it to false, sorry, sorry, to off. So sprite index equals SPR off. Now there's a million ways you can do this, possibly more efficient, but as I said, this is the very first iteration of the emulator. You know, there's gonna be a little bit of janky code here and there. We're just gonna get past that and hope that it works because it may not work. That's, that's gonna be a problem if it doesn't work. Now, we need to play sound once um, the switch is pressed. So I'm just gonna say audio, and then we'll say play underscore sound. And the sound ID is going to be click, which is the name of our sound. Priority is going to be one and loops is going to be false. Now, if all has gone to plan, when we run this, we should have a working switch emulator. Are you guys ready? Are you ready for it? Oh my God, it's fantastic. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It sounds fantastic. Anyway, this was obviously a joke video, but I hope you're all excited for the upcoming launch of the Nintendo Switch. I'm very excited for the launch of the Nintendo Switch. Um, got it pre-ordered. I'm going to be there at 6 o'clock in the morning to pick it up. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys are thinking about the Switch. And I'm really sorry this wasn't a proper tutorial. I'm still getting up to speed with Game Maker Studio 2. I am going to make some more tutorials. I promise. I have Game Maker Studio 2 installed. I'm currently going through it, learning all the functions, playing around with it, just seeing how things would go. Anyway, I have to say that was one satisfying Switch emulator. Obviously, it's a pre-alpha version, so it's going to be a while before we can start to run ROMs and game backups and homebrew and things of that nature. But I'd like to say that even in this early state, I will make this version available to my Patreon subscribers over on Patreon. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned a lot, gotten, a, gotten excited for the possibilities of the Switch emulation and um, excited for the Switch in general. So thank you for watching and bye for now.